microscopic anti-military minds to present a balanced report. But another viewer said about the accusations against Hartwick, what would you expect from the good old boy Annapolis network? And there was this. By picking on a suspected homosexual, the Navy must have figured they could kill two birds with one stone. One, evade liability, and two, strengthen their case against gays. About our story looking into the bizarre murder committed in London with a poison umbrella, a viewer wanted to know, was it less bizarre when the CIA tried to kill Fidel Castro with an exploding cigar? Our story on Johnny De Michaelis, the Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs and his unconventional, to say the least, attitude toward women, brought a slew of letters. Here is our favorite. I would be crushed if my husband did what he did. I only hope you send a copy of the tape to what's-his-name's wife. Finally, two letters mystified us. The first, I am shocked that Dan Rather would call what De Michaelis does the good life. And the second, most disturbing was Mike Wallace's obvious envy and admiration. Not only did Rather and Wallace have nothing to do with Morley Safer's story, Morley isn't even sure they saw it. I'm Ed Bradley. We'll be back next week with another edition of 60 Minutes. just finished an incredibly close and exceptionally comfortable shave with the Norelco razor. But to see how he got it, we have to go back, back to when he began to shave, not just above the skin, but below it. Here, our patented lift and cut system lifts the hair so when it's cut, it can actually drop below skin level without the blades even touching your face. Try it, and you'll keep going back, back to Norelco for a perfect shave. Norelco, we make close, comfortable. Dad. Kellogg's 19. Hmm. A breakfast of 19 vitamins, minerals, and other essential nutrients. You want some? No. Some people go to great lengths to keep the great hearty taste of Kellogg's 19 all to themselves. So if you've never tried it... Kellogg's 19? Ew. That suits them fine. Kellogg's 19. Really great taste in disguise. She was the victim of a brutal attack. But what if someone tried again? No! 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 Bill's neighbor decided to pick a fight. He didn't know Bill was getting it all on videotape. He knows now. People fed up and fighting back. 48 Hours returns Wednesday. Carol is back on CBS. Hallelujah! With guests like Martin Short, Delta Burke. B.B. King and Tony Roberts. The Kill Burnett Show premieres Friday. You are doing well. When an innocent woman is sent to prison, how can she hold her family together? Based on a true story, Cheryl Ladd and Gene Smart star in the world premiere movie Locked Up, A Mother's Rage, Tuesday on CBS. For a transcript of this program, send $4 to Journal Graphics, 1535 Grant Street, Denver, Colorado, 80203. To place a credit card order, call 303-831-9000.